The Martin B-10, introduced in June 1934, was the first all-metal monoplane bomber regularly used by the United States Army Air Corps. It revolutionized bomber design with features like closed cockpits, rotating gun turrets, retractable landing gear, an internal bomb bay, and full engine cowlings. These innovations made all existing bombers obsolete. The B-10 began as the Martin Model 23, a private venture by the Glenn Luther Martin Company. It had a crew of four and innovative features such as a deep belly for an internal bomb bay and retractable main landing gear. Powered by 600 horsepower Wright SR-1820E Cyclone engines, the Model 123 first flew on February 16, 1932. After testing, it was redesigned as the XB-10, featuring full National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics Cowlings, 675 horsepower Wright R18820-19 engines, and an enclosed nose turret. The XB-10 recorded a speed of 97 miles per hour at 6,000 feet during trials, an impressive performance for 1932. Following the success of the XB-10, the Army ordered 48 aircraft, designated YB-10, with canopies for all crew positions and a three-man crew. The first 14 YB-10s were delivered to Wright Field in November 1933. The B-10B, an improved version with minor changes, was ordered in 1935, with shipments beginning in July 1935. B-10Bs served with various bomb groups and were used for coastal patrol on large twin floats. The B-10's advanced performance led to export orders. The United States Army owned the rights to the Model 139 design and permitted exports after filling its orders in 1936. Martin delivered versions to several air forces, including Siam, Turkey, China, and the Netherlands. The Royal Netherlands Easties Army Air Force ordered 12 Martin 139 WH-1s in 1936, followed by 26 WH-2s in March 1937 and additional orders in 1938 and 1939. The B-10 saw combat in China and the Dutch East Indies. In China, the 139 WC was used for night bombing and maritime reconnaissance. On May 19, 1938, Two B-10s conducted the first air raid on mainland Japan, dropping leaflets over cities like Nagasaki and Fukuoka. In the Dutch East Indies, B-10s served in the defense against Japanese forces, with about 58 operational and 20 in reserve at the outbreak of war in December 1941. The B-10's legacy is significant. It was described by General Henry Harley Arnold as the air power wonder of its day being faster than any contemporary fighter. However, rapid advances in bomber design in the late 1930s meant that the B-10 was eclipsed by the time the United States entered World War II. The only surviving complete example is on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. In summary, the Martin B-10 was a groundbreaking aircraft that set new standards for bomber design. Its innovations influenced bomber designs worldwide for decades, making it a crucial part of aviation history.